The third thing that he highlights is the law. They were without the law, he said. The law to us sounds like such a binary word. We think of the law of the land. We think of laws against speeding. Some people might think of that a bit more often than other people. We think of the laws against stealing or the laws against murder. It probably doesn't even cross our minds, but that's the way we think of the law. But it misses something of the true spirit of the law. And when it's referred to in the Bible, it's quite a narrow understanding if we think of it in those terms. Law is obviously the English word. The Hebrew word is the word Torah. To translate the word Torah as law is the same as tr translating the word father as disciplinarian. He is, yes, but he's so much more than just a disciplinarian. He's so much more than that. Imagine all the things that we read in the, the first five books of the Bible, because that's the law. Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy. We, that's the law. That's the Torah. And if we think of that, it just merely is legalism, legal jargon. We miss it. We think of what's in there. We read of Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden. We read of God's creation of the world. We read of uh, uh, Noah and the ark, God's ability to save and preserve, God pro proclaiming a message through Noah, proclaiming a message of righteousness. We read of God's, uh, God's relationship with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. We read of God meeting with them. We read of God protecting them. We read of God blessing them. We read of God leading them. We read all of that in the law. We read of, uh, of Joseph going, being sold by his brothers into Egypt. We read of him going there to preserve life. We read of him going there and interpreting the Pharaoh's dreams about the famine that was coming. We read of him bringing his family in to be protected and to save. We read of the, the persecution that came against them. We read of Moses, the great deliverer, coming and bringing the children of Israel out. We read of their traveling across the Red Sea or as it parted there, and they read of their wilderness wanderings. Yes, we read of them coming to Sinai and the declaration and the giving of the law by Almighty God. We do read that, but we read so much more than just the law in our English sense of the word. See, the, the, the Torah recounts God's interactions with God's people. 